funny. Sure. It's it's a win win for everyone, but like it's that's such a di- interesting dynamic to me. I know that was an important thing with the, our television show Medium because our by that point the actresses there was a percentage of their paychecks that was held back to take care of them later in life so that the parents couldn't spend it all. But back in the 80s, the parents were just blowing the money and there was nothing set aside for the child actors. And it was so terrible. So I'm glad at least now that they set it aside so that they have some security. That is good because even from the 90s, most of the 80s and 90s actors I talked to, and especially when, when I do it in studio, I mean, yeah. a lot of them are pulling up in like these cars that are falling apart. Like, and I'm not even being a snob. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's just like the, the public's perception of you is that you're loaded. Right. And like, we're not all like Jennifer. Ant. Like, yes, the, the friends are set for life. The people on Modern right. Family are set yeah. for life. Seinfeld, like it got, it changed later in the game of how resi- people from Big the Bang 90s. Theory, they're friends, set. Friends is a particular, that's, that's its own class. I right. mean, they're adults also. So yeah, they got points on the show. So they made a lot off the show. I think they got points. If they didn't get points, they got paid so much money per episode. Yeah, a million dollars. They were able to invest it and still have money coming from that. But I'm friends with Charles Shaughnessy, who was on The Nanny. He was the he played the millionaire on The Nanny, and they didn't get points then. Yeah. When when that was all happening, so I know a lot of actors that just got the shaft, and it's. It's un- It's sad. It's sad. Um, ironically, a little piece of trivia, the twins that Jennifer Aniston, the twins that played her daughter on Friends, the infants, yeah, in the pilot episode of Medium, played my youngest daughter. <laughs> really? <laughs> so much overlap. But their parents thought the show would be a little maybe too dark. And so... They were replaced by another set of twins that played my younger daughter, my youngest daughter. So interesting. Just, yeah, yeah. I thought that was a good little piece of trivia for you. So they actually pulled them out of it because they thought medium would be too dark. They were just in the pilot episode, so that was fine. Um, they were, yeah, they were toddlers at that time. So interesting. Yeah. Do you think like Kathy and Kyle are done for real? I don't think they were ever anything i mean i think they're sisters but i don't think they've ever been close i do feel that kyle sees kathy as her mother figure i think i think kathy is really a surrogate to her in how kyle feels of her mom and probably carries the mother's energy so i do think that's an important relationship to her but i do think kyle's behaved badly throughout the years when it comes to how she has treated her sisters. And I'm sure they've dished it back as siblings do. Um, Also, I caught when Kathy said on the reunion, Paris is my daughter. She's in my corner. And she said that to Kyle to send a message that Kyle really can't use Paris, her name, her fame, her connections um, without her mother knowing about it. So I heard that loud and clear. And that is true because Paris did speak out quite a bit, you know, to the extent well, she's- It's her It's her mom. Of yeah. course she's going to. That's She loves her. So I get it. So, I mean, what do you make? Because Kyle says, you know, she's friends with Morgan. She's still, I mean, you just, I mean, ugh, it's so strange to me. I uh, At first, I agree. It was publicity. Now it's like they're in France together. She's picking her up at the airport. You know, it's like, uh, what? Okay, I'm, let me ask I'm you so, this, I'm David. so confused. I'm so is, confused. Is Kyle trying to avoid the paparazzi in these moments? Because there no. are certain places she could go where the paparazzi would be hard pressed to find, but she's going, it's almost like they send them a list of where they're going to be at what time. Hollywood works that way. You could do that in another country. So to me, it just doesn't, again, it doesn't feel organic. 
Well, yeah, if you really wanted to hide something, you like Timothy Chalamet and Ky- and Kylie Jenner in the beginning, you know, then someone sees the car coming out of the driveway. You like you go to the person's house. It's you how they make their money. It's yeah. how they that's that's their job. That's what they do. So no, I don't think she was Kyle was stealing away this just friendship moment in the city of love with Morgan. That's her name, right, Morgan? Yeah. And and that the paparazzi just happened to catch that. No, I think they know exactly where they're going to be. They take the pictures and Kyle cash, cashes the checks. And I think Morgan gets a benefit from it too because I don't know who the fuck she is. I've never heard her music. I've never heard of her until now. So I'm sure some people have. But I think Kyle's given her a pretty good public platform to try and capitalize on. So hopefully she uses that opportunity to further her career. Hopefully she can actually sing and she's actually talented or that'd be embarrassing. (laughs) I mean, (laughs) I've never heard of her either. She's had a whole tour this summer. She's 28. So I mean... It's kind yeah. of works for her. It's not a bad gig. I listen to country music. I've never heard of her. So I, when you, when people started saying Morgan and asking me about that on Instagram, I'm like, Hey, who the fuck is that? But I thought it was a guy. Like I didn't know. So I was very surprised to hear. I never picked up vibes that Kyle was gay, honestly. And there's nothing wrong with being gay at all it doesn't even need to be justified I'm just saying I never got that feeling from her and so this is interesting and if she is going down that road have fun stop stop map questing the paparazzi where you're going to be if you want to be incognito so yeah see I never got that vibe from her either but now that we are here, and if I really step myself out of it, I get the vibe now. I do. do. You? Um, and okay. it has nothing to do with more. Like I think, yeah. Look, I never got that vibe. But okay, I, just, I get the tattoos. I get that she's working out harder now. Good for her, by the way. She looks amazing. Um, but I still, it's almost like she's trying to fit into a mold of what either Morgan wants or what's expected of her. Because this is nothing that anyone's seen of Kyle in her entire life. So it's not that you can't one day realize that's what you needed. I'm just thinking that when the publicity cools on that relationship, you're not going to hear about that relationship anymore. No, but you know, what's really weird is like, if I close my eyes, I can't, and this has nothing to do with like, whatever. I just can't picture Kyle dating any other guy. I I, just, I mean, I can't, I understand like, why should I? Because you're still with, I just like Dorit, if Dorit and PK don't work out, I could close my eyes and picture Dorit 